Welcome everyone, I am the Wolf Cook and welcome to the Wolf Kitchen. Today we're having a wolf's favorite that already have my mouth watering. We're gonna be cooking some braised short ribs with mashed potatoes and gravy. And for you folks that like vegetables, we're gonna have some of that too. Now first, I'm gonna answer a question that may be asked when you're cooking braised short ribs. And that is, should I braise those ribs? And the answer to that is absolutely yes. You cannot have braised ribs without them being braised. That's for all your flavor. That's what make it delicious. Now, having said that, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and let's get started. We're gonna start with two cups of beef broth, one cup of red wine, celery, onions, cut up carrots, chopped garlic, better than bouillon round base. We're gonna use that instead of tomato paste. Black pepper, sea salt, all for braising. And then we have our beef short ribs. And while I'm showing you these ribs, preheat the oven up to 350 degrees. We're using two large potatoes that we will bake for two and a half hours that will make our mashed potatoes. For the potatoes, we're gonna wet it, sprinkle it with sea salt all over. This is what we're gonna use to make the mashed potatoes. Then we're gonna wrap it. Then we're gonna bake for two and a half hours at 350. Now we're adding our seasoning. We're gonna use salt and we're gonna season all sides. And we're gonna follow that up with pepper. And here you can do the same thing. And here you can be a little generous with the seasoning. Now we're adding all to a medium to high heat flame just to cover the surface until it's hot enough to add the ribs. Now add the ribs. Now we're gonna cook each side from one and a half to two minutes or until golden brown. And you can cook every side except the bone side. Add onions, stir for about two minutes before we add the carrots. Add in carrots and celery and continue to stir. Now we like to add in our garlic. And we're gonna stir that in. And then we're gonna add in our brown paste. We're gonna keep stirring. We're gonna keep stirring until it's almost time to add in the red wine. Now we're gonna add in the red wine. We've been cooking this for about five minutes and now it's time to add the beef broth. Bring your gravy to a ball, then uh, add in the ribs. Uh, make sure they're about three quarter uh, of the way uh, submerged. Now cover, and it's time for the oven. We're going in the oven for two hours. We'll check back then. At that time, our baked potatoes should be also ready. Two and one half hours later. Now we turn these into mashed potatoes. Now let's check it after two hours. Mm -hmm. It does look good. It's right where it needs to be. Now we're gonna put this back in the oven for one more hour. Next thing we're gonna do, unwrap the potato and then cut it in half. Then we're gonna scoop out the baked potato. 
Then we're gonna add butter and mash the butter in to the mashed potatoes. Stir in, keep mashing, stir in, keep mashing. Then you can add some milk for to make it a little bit looser. And keep stirring until you get it just like you want it. It's been one hour and the ribs are ready. And they are looking good and smelling good. Just turn the gravy over. Now I'm just gonna touch it with the fork. See how tender it is? You can just turn it. That means it's ready. Now I'm just gonna break off a little piece and taste it. Mmm, -mm, that's good. Now it's time to plate. And here goes the finished braised short ribs. Well, everybody, these ribs are done. They look good and they smell good. I can't wait for Mrs. Wolf and me to sink our teeth into these ribs. I see you over there, Mrs. Wolf, chopping a bit. We gonna be eating real soon. Don't you worry. Well, everybody, as you can see, I have to go. We gonna be tearing up these ribs. But before I go, make sure you hit that subscribe button. You hit that uh, notification bell, leave a comment, hit that like button, and please tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, and uh, even them neighbors. Tell them to tune in and watch the wolf cook, cook a delicious meal. See you soon.